what's going on guys and welcome back terror squad we are back in the house once again for some more vikings today we're going to be doing season five episode eight yes and as we know what what <laughs> are you serious right now so i just did a live stream right i just did a live stream i just <laughs> i just did a live stream that was it was very laggy so i stopped it so the video came out and i just got an email from youtube saying they have removed my video remove the video i wasn't even doing anything but talk so the thing the thing about it is like they think you know th this is this is a travesty you might as well not be doing any youtube at this point because your video could get flagged and you can't contest it even though there's nothing in the video you get what i'm saying like you can't contest it you can't call them right because there's nobody there right so they're le leaving everything up to the algorithm to determine your video if it's good or not so i could be here having trouble thank god it wasn't like one of my videos it was the actual live stream because i would be pissed off if if i'm here trying to upload one of my videos and they're telling me oh it's getting blocked when there's nothing in there but me talking <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how things go. Um, you know, if I need to live stream, I might have to. I might because I am planning to live stream today. So I might just go to um, start a Twitch account or something and see how that goes. Um, so we'll we'll see how things go for this evening. If 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 you know, if YouTube or, you know, they're blocking. I mean, they, they didn't block the stream while it was going on like the video that comes out of it they blocked that for, for some stupid reason even though we're there for like less than 10 minutes it was crazy anyways um yeah so in vikings we know that war is about to break out everybody has chosen their side so now all we're doing is waiting so i'm wondering how astrid is going to get out of this um from under King Harold when they get there, right? Um, also, how is this going to turn out? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I st I'm still not sure about what Hegman is going to do. I'm calling him Eggman because <laughs> I can't pronounce his name. Hegman, Hegman, Hegman. <laughs> you know, anyways, guys, we're going to jump into these episodes and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so I just did three episodes, episodes eight, nine, and 10. Didn't do them, you know, at the same time, but you guys are gonna have three episodes to watch. Um, the, the thing about this that that you know the whole time i was in the back of my head i'm thinking that episode 10 was a season finale okay it ended like a season finale but i said you know what let me double check you guys if you have not seen if you've seen the reaction and you come back to check this out now you know that i realized that i went to check to make sure because i thought it was only 10 episodes in season five now i'm gonna be reacting to the rest of course um so now that i know that it, that that wasn't the season finale it could have been it could have been the way how they wrapped it up it kind of explains why they did what they did in episode 10 because episode 10 was kind of it was it was a little i want to say it was it, it was a little weird you know what i mean like it, it was a little weird to me but at the same time, I was loving the direction. I was loving how they weren't necessarily concentrating on the battle itself, but more of like the characters that were going to die or survive, whatever, being reflective. So 
Um, so Yalborg's son is dead. That's Torvi's firstborn, right? All of Beer and Kids is still okay. Um, thank God Margaret didn't didn't kill him because she went to go see the seer, which is she asked, "Will you ever be queen? Will I ever be queen? No. Will Uber be king? No. <laughs> you getting all these no's? You know what I'm saying? Um, because she's she is not she's not a good person." Let's take away the the. Let's take a take away her whorish ways, because she she was a slave that was being passed around among the brothers, except Ivar and Bjorn. And it was it was so obvious, you know what I mean, that I, I she was just gonna be a character, that, you know, just is just she's nags. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like every time I hear her speak, I'm just like, "Who are you? Why are you even? Why do you even have ideas? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do you have ideas? You are nobody. You are nobody. You just happen to be. Uwe just decided to take you as his wife. Like you're nobody. I respect Torvi more than I respect you in every single way. You get what I'm saying? Where are you coming from? Out of left field. So we're gonna talk about. Uh, for these three episodes, the people who su the people who survive good, um, King King, um, King, what's his name? King Harold, killed his son, killed his brother. I mean, didn't expect him to do it. I thought he was gonna ease up because Ube could have done the same to Fitzerk, and he didn't. He held his hand. Right, because it, you, it, this, this family is hard. Even though I know they were going up against each other, he could have decided not to. Just like how Uber just like, you know what? You ain't even worth it right now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, me killing you not going to solve anybody's problem. I'd rather you die by somebody else's hand. You get what I'm saying? If you're going to die. But by mine, it's a bit. I mean... Even the seer was saying it that the, even the gods themselves are crying, weeping at the sight of what's going on because they're fighting amongst themselves. When when this is a situation that they could have easily just you know quelched, they could have they, they could have just. But because Ivar is just on this revenge path of his mother, that's why I knew. I think it was in episode nine. I was like, he's not going. He playing, he playing possum right now. Cause I knew he wasn't gonna go for that. He's not gonna go for peace. If he doesn't have Lagatha's head on a stick, he's not going for peace. Until he gets that revenge, he's not stopping. I don't know why the guys are keeping him alive, but they are. He's blessed somehow. Right? So it's to me, what they're doing is is really senseless. Civil war to me is always very senseless. You get what I'm saying? I think it is something people that live amongst each other or live in the same country, they shouldn't fight against each other. And, you know, in history, we've had civil wars in this country and other countries. They've been civil wars over the years. And I've, when I read up about civil war, I'm like, North versus South? Are you kidding me? North versus South. Because their difference is belief. Belief, bro. This is a revenge thing. This is a revenge thing. You know? And also, I mean, King Harold, he, he has a better, you know, he has a better um, goal for doing this. Ivar, not so much. I don't think he wants to be king. I just think he enjoys I just think he enjoys the massacre. I think that's it's just him. I think he just enjoys the massacre. I don't think he wants to be king. But if he ends up being king, so be it. I don't care. But how is he going to come and claim king of Kattegat when King Harold wants to be king of Norway? So how is that going to play out? Rolo is on his way. I'm guessing because of the victory they just had. Um, Ivar is probably going to come and claim the, the throne or whatever. Um, because it looks like even at the end you saw Lagatha, she's tired, man. Let her hear out. She's like, man, this this is not worth it. 
It's not worth it. And it's the same thing that Ragnar was saying, like, in his old age, like, all of this killing and pillaging, like, I'm tired of it. You know? And, and, and all this, you know, I just hope that for these next 10 episodes, we get to see something positive in this show because right now, there's no particular, there's no particular character that I can root for in the show either. The only one that I can probably, like, I can still put my hat on is Bjorn. Like, everybody else is just doing some shit that I don't, that I don't like. Ube just won't, just won't cut Margaret's throat or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's very disappointed, like, as in, for a son of Ragnar, is very disappointed. Vitzerk don't know what the hell he wants in life. Ivar, at least has a goal that he wants, which is to kill Lagatha because he killed his mother. At least he, 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 at least you know what he wants. You know what I'm saying? I don't like him because he's just out for blood. He doesn't listen to reasoning. Regardless of how smart he is, he's kind of dumb in certain aspects of certain things. You can, you can be super intelligent and be dumb about certain things, especially social issue, issues. So it's like, with him, I understand his need for revenge. But I, but... For him, it's like, no matter how many people have to die for me to get my revenge, I don't care. And that's why the guys are not happy. You know what I mean? Now we got this weird relationship going on with, with Lagatha and the bishop. I just, I, I, you know, at this point in the show, I'm just gonna, I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to wonder where's, where's the writing team going with all of this? Like, I'm so confused after watching that just that episode 10 i'm so confused as to where the story is gonna go now because it's because it's like as i said i enjoy the episode but moving the story along i i just didn't see that so it's kind of like i don't want to single out this episode to be a bad episode because this is not a bad episode i enjoyed watching the episode Right. But you heard me talking during the episode saying, I just don't understand where is where is this taking the story? I get the reflective nature of everything, the direction, the sound direction, the battle, all of that stuff I get. But where is it going according to the story? How is this progressing the story at all? I get it. People are going to die. People are going to live. I see the retreat at the end. You get what I'm saying? So now showing Rolo at the end, where does this leave us? You get what I'm saying? So I guess we will see that. As I said, during the episode, I was watching that as a season finale, but it's not. You get what I'm saying? So um, now I have a totally different perspective because now we got 10 more episodes to watch before the season ends. So I can say, okay, this is why they did this. This is why they did this. I'm pretty sure they're going to clear all of that stuff up. So um, the situation that's going on with Floki and the others over there, like him now planning to sacrifice himself, is a bit much to me. I'm going to miss him if he, if they decide to go through with this. I'm definitely going to miss him as a character because he doesn't deserve what went down. He really doesn't. Astrid, isn't, Astrid is, is dead. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff that's going on. Right? Floki does not deserve that. As much as I, I I had a little bit of doubt of what he saw over there, they're there now. You're creating a settlement. Like, Rome isn't built... Oh, it's a weird thing to say right now, but Rome wasn't built in one day, man. Why do people... Why is it always like this? It's the same thing with the children of Israel when they were coming out of Egypt with Moses. As soon as an obstacle appeared in front of them, they start blaming him. You should have left us in slavery. Why are people like this? Why do they expect everything to be so instantaneous is beyond me. Why do people always expect everything to be so instantaneous? Oh, we're going to the, to the land of milk and honey. We won't have to work anymore. Who the hell told you that? The guy told you it's not going to be easy at first. Because nothing worthwhile is ever easy at first. Nothing. It pissed me off to the point I didn't even say anything because I was sat there with a blank face, like looking at these people, like, why are you blaming this dude? You guys are making it. The 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 gazers the, the gazers are there, if that's how you pronounce it. 
right? The spouting of the water out of the earth and stuff like that. I think that shit is so cool. That alone would make me want to be here. It's just it to find a land and settle there. No, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you, you know, the, the rules that were put in place, pay taxes, but it was a fear system what Floki was trying to get them into. It was a fear system. It's not a lot of you, not a lot of mouths to feed. Eventually, of course, it's going to grow into something bigger. But that's how civilizations civilizations are built. It's not built in one day, man. What what they been there for? A week? A week. And they complaining and start killing each other. I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the land is not cool enough for us. <laughs> oh, please. And now this man is going to have to sacrifice himself now for these assholes i mean for these ungrateful bitches you know what i'm saying so i mean um yeah that's all i have to say man thank you guys so much for tuning in because I, I i started to rant there a little bit but anyways man if you guys watched all of it i do really do appreciate it make sure you hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section and also subscribe if you're new hopefully you guys get this notification man because youtube is fucking up right now anyways thank you guys so much Catch you guys later. Peace.